I don't think that I do all these things without background or without something that has happened to my family. We have lost brothers to alcohol. We have buried them. My own brother and brothers in law. When I speak, I speak as one who has knowledge of what that thing can do. Some of them were engineers. The one we buried, and another one was a medical doctor in South Africa. I've done it. Please, I beg you, stay sober. Make right decision. Take the time and chance and use them properly. Hey, I was an alcoholic. Right now, I'm four months sober. Cut a now, I'm here to briefly tell you about my alcoholism journey. I'm an economist, graduate from the University of Nairobi. I graduated in 2014. I was supposed to graduate in 2013, but due to alcoholism, I got a missing unit and I didn't graduate that year. Since then, after I graduated, I got two lucrative jobs. One in 2014, immediately after I graduated. After two years, I lost my job due to alcoholism. I stayed at home for one year. Luckily, in 2017, I got another job with an NGO. There, I worked just for one year. After one year, I went into alcoholism again because the money was too much. And I, uh, in 2018, my alcoholism went deep and it was serious. It, become, it became chronic. Uh, in, in 2021, I went back to the village and now I turned into third alcoholic beverages. But luckily, last year, in March, Pastor Dorcas Irigadi started uh, the rehabilitation campaign. And because I knew that my life was miserable by then, I was very willing to join the, the program. And in June, I joined Timau Rehabilitation Center. I went to the rehab for three months, and in September, I left there. And up to now, I'm very sober, and I thank High Excellency for that. And since I left the rehab, Her Excellency has not left me. We are with her together in the journey.